I'm the receptionist for a wholesale company and as a receptionist I'm usually the first person people see when they enter the store and sometimes the last depending on what they do. As a receptionist I have to interact with all the customers and I've noticed that between these interactions the behavior, the way people talk, and the whole attitude just varies between gender. Um, most of the stuff I've witnessed is be between male customers and female customers is just the whole objectifying women. I've dealt with it. I've been objectified by my customers, by my coworkers, and so sadly, sometimes my managers. And I remember this one altercation I had with this customer. He came in and right off the bat was just sexually harassing me. He was making any windows, making all these gestures. He's doing this, this, and that. And me being me, I stand up for myself and I start talking back to him. Well, he didn't like the fact that I wasn't, you know, giving in and like doing all this and that that he wanted. I wasn't responding to it and I was giving him an attitude. So he decided to take it to my managers and say that I was giving him terrible customer service, that I was treating him this way and that. And I brought, and when my managers had a talk with me, they brought it to my attention that I brought to my manager's attention that he was sexually harassing me and they didn't believe me. They're like, oh, well, we see the way you interact with, you know, other male customers, you know, like, so what makes you believe, you know, that he was doing this, like, and the felt, and it felt like what they were saying to me, it felt like I was asking for it, that I wanted it. It's like, I don't know this guy, like, I'm just playing around with my co-workers and whatnot, you know, we're making jokes and whatnot, but we know when to call it quits, like, this guy was just going more and more and more and more, and it just, it felt wrong, like, and I even told my managers that, and the fact that they didn't do anything is just, like, they're okay with it, like, they're saying, oh, you know what, come to our store where you can go do this and that to our female employees, and, you know, we don't care, and I I tell them all the time that it's not right and they're just like, you know, deal with it and like all this other stuff, you know, just take it with a smile and it's like, no, I'm not that kind of person. And so I brought to corporate's attention and they still didn't do it and I just felt like it sucked working for, it sucks working for a company that, you know, they don't. They give a handbook that says, you know, we take sexual harassment very serious, seriously. And when it's brought to their attention, they don't do anything. And I was just like, okay, you're okay with when being treated this way, you know. And I just felt that it's not right. We're not sexual objects and all this other stuff. So it sucks. And I give my permission to have this video posted online for the Gender Stories page for Mara Kelly's Gender and Sexualities class at PSU.